Now I want you to make this video long ago, but I want you to give this game a little try before I say something about it, especially when it comes to reviews. I already gave my two cents on the alpha, and then also we reviewed the beta as well. But fine, finally, the game released last week, it was game on. And so many people, especially on TikTok, because I have like larger audience on TikTok for some reason, have asked me to review the game. Like, what do I think about it? And then you guys have like, who actually come and see the videos on YouTube. And obviously on the, on the stream as well, they some random people will like come and ask me what do you think of the cold war so without further ado let's hop into it this is my two cents and review about cold war let's go <clears throat> now let's just start the conversation with the big differences between modern warfare and black ops cold war when it comes to multiplayer there are many good things and then there are many bad things Black Ops Cold War maps are much less cluttered and much less camping, which I think is a good thing. It feels like more fluid game while also feeling less lethal. There are no doors here to boss through, maps are less vertical, there is a decent flow to most of them, particularly in 6v6 modes. Um, in fact, I think Black Ops Cold War is superb 6v6 game. Now Moscow for example is an easy to understand map, offering like things flow to it's considerable concrete. Cartel is chaotic fun, despite the bushes, satellites, dunes, which uh, look Spot like something out of a, a Star Wars battle, Battlefront game, offer tense sniping, while the debris give players something to cover. The new VIP escort mode, which shows is a player at random who must be extracted by their teammates to win the round, offered more coordinated action, but it's still an action packed game. Where Modern Warfare encourages players to creep about, Black Ops Cold War encourages players to sprint all over the shop. There's less stuff to get snagged on, fewer windows to be sniped from, it just feels more fun. Now here's the bad part, the bigger the map gets, the less fun Black Ops War gets. Miami has all sorts of problems, including poor visibility and ill flow out layout and a large part of the map that often goes unused. I quite hate Miami, in fact, and always vote for other maps when it comes to it. You guys probably have seen that in the stream as well. It's basically a Black Ops Cold War's Piccadilly. We also like hate Piccadilly in Modern Warfare 2. And the modes with the bigger player counts and those bigger scale battles feel it at all with the kind of shooter Black Ops Cold War wants to be. Combined arms is 16 by 24. Players with vehicles on the domination and assault modes, uh, it's a bit like Battlefield to me. It's not as good. And then there's a fire team dirty bomb mode, which feels like Battle Royale uh, the younger city, if you may say. This mode, parachute squads of four players onto a huge map and tag them uh, with collecting uranium that must then be deposited uh, to a prime dirty bomb. Blackout, the now forgotten Call of Duty Battle Royale of 2018, proved the series and Triarch's brand of Call of Duty could do Battle Royale wonderfully well. But I see no reason to play Fireteam over Warzone, particularly when you consider Black Ops Cold War, progress can be made in Infinity Wars game. Now it's an interesting comparison I think, Modern Warfare is a technically marvel with an astonishing attention to detail, Infinity Wars weapon animation, audio and visual work is the best I've seen in Call of Duty game ever, period. Love it or hate it, Modern Warfare moved the series forward in many important respects and in some cases Black Ops Cold War is a step back, yes I do agree. Now take for example the weapons, Black Ops Cold War's gun don't have the you know that mm, um, feeling kind of thing the more warfare do it's called their developers have literally went to the shooting ranges and like trained with the the military personnel to get the feel of the guns itself and that they took the training for like i think that was like six weeks now they don't look at as detailed carry the same weight and they sound tiny when it com comes to uh, cold war Perhaps Triax was going for a, a stripped back, cleaner game, focused on gameplay more, and clarity above realism and digital. Now, one thing to understand here, Modern Warfare was playing on realism, and people, when, when that actually came out, um, all my friends, including me, I just freaking hated Modern Warfare. It's because it was way too realistic for me. Um, it felt more like a rainbow, Six Siege. 
which I'm not a big fan of. And that's fine. But the other shot is Black Ops Cold War doesn't have the impact of its pre uh, predecessor controller in hand. The Black Ops Cold War is more like an arcade-ish gameplay, if you may say. Now, this difference is the philosophy is felt most in the new score stick system as well. Now, score carries across lives, whereas before you will lose your score upon death. I kind of like this idea in principle as it gives more players a chance to unlock a high level kill streak than before, but, but it definitely needs some work. What tends to happen in typical multiplayer game is you get score streak spam at roughly the same point in time during a match. Most players, for example, hit the right numbers of points to unlock. Say the spy, say the spy plane at mm, roughly the same time. So then at early game, you end up with the spy plane moment when there are loads of the things in the sky. And then at mid game, most players have enough score to unlock that cruise missile and you so you die to those. And then at late game, most players have just enough score to call in the heavy stuff, a chopper gunner perhaps, like clockwork, these things appear. Triarchs doing the right thing here. Now let me step here and talk about zombies. Dude, I've never liked zombies, but in this game, holy cow. I absolutely freaking love zombies. Now, zombies return in fantastic form with a map that recklessly memories of Triarchs early groundbreaking efforts in World at War. There is a lot of fan service in the die machine map with plenty of easter eggs to uncover. It's also accessible. I think it's fair to say zombies have become somewhat impenetrable. So this new map, which is easy to understand, is welcome. Progression in zombies is the same as, as, as elsewhere. So you're leveling up the weapons, you're already leveling up in the other parts of the game as you play. In fact, you play as one of the existing op players in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, not as a character played by a Hollywood actor as the, uh, in the previous Black Ops game. There is a familiarity in Zombies that campaign and multiplayer fans find will find welcoming as someone who's always steered clear of Zombies mode because it didn't help with the grind. This new system has encouraged me to spend time killing the undead. Now, when it comes to who's not going to like this game, is the people who play non just can't play with a high movement speed as i said if you're like way too used to the modern warfare you're going to hate cold war it's because now you're used to more realism and because i just said cold war is more like an arcade-ish gameplay this is like going back in times when the movement was an actual thing you're not going to love cold war it's because to be honest you are probably crap at the game if the, if the neurons in your brain are not activated at 100% to actually do these movements at the higher speed, at the higher frame rates, you definitely going to do very poor in this game. Like, you need to have 100% brain activation on in order to do well in this game. So my suggestion as of now would be to play the game without thinking what you have played before. Play this game as a, like a new player coming to call of duty that as if this is your first ever call of duty and see how that changes your gameplay and then the second thing you need to work on your movement speed i've said this multiple times on the streams as well this game is not going to give you a second chance you only get one chance to hit the person and if you miss that chance the second person is going to end up killing you pretty quick and if you're not a big fan of that my man this game is not for you the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War does everything it needs to be uh, with the polish and zeal and those who plan to spend the next year leveling up through its multiplayer ranks won't be disappointing if they get this for uh, Christmas. But given how disruptive March's Battle Royale Call of Duty game Warzone has been, so with that being said, I think you should start doing some more practice. And, and as there is an old say, practice makes you perfect. Level up those guns level up your skills and it will eventually will level up the entire gameplay experience for you with that being said that this was my two cents my review so enjoy the rest of the gameplay and this is ussg over and out
Losing B. 